When I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with IBS, which stands for Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Irritable Bowel Syndrome is a chronic illness. One day in middle school, a friend of mine invited me to a sleepover. I'll say this girl's name was Claire. I was nervous about saying yes because I wore diapers since I would often have accidents due to my illness and none of my friends knew I had IBS. But I agreed anyways because I barely had any friends and I thought it could be an opportunity to meet new ones. Claire was inviting new people that I didn't know, so I thought this would be kind of exciting to meet new people. So I agreed and my mom said yes also. The night of the sleepover, I was so excited. I packed my stuff and took my sleeping bag and Claire's mom picked me up. When we got to her house, a lot of the people she invited were already there and they were all really nice and they told me all of their names. We all played board games like Monopoly and we played Truth or Dare and told scary stories. I was having so much fun, but I soon realized that I forgot my diapers and I forgot to put one on. I tried not to think of it as much and I continued having fun throughout the night with my friends. Soon we all decided to watch a movie and my stomach started to get in a knot and cramp up and I knew something wasn't right. So I excused myself to the bathroom only to find out someone was in there and I started to freak out and I didn't know what to do. All the girls saw me panicking and they were all confused. Next thing you know, I had an accident in front of all of the girls and it was really embarrassing. They all yelled ill and they all freaked out and I felt pretty awful. I was crying and I was really upset. Claire's mom came and she let me wear Claire's old clothes and she drove me home and called my mom. And after that sleepover, I was just really embarrassed and I didn't want to go to school afraid that all the girls will tell everyone what happened. But eventually, my mom made me go to school and Claire and the girls from the sleepover were actually really nice when I came back to school and they apologized to me and they were more understanding about the whole situation and they even made me drawings. I was kind of relieved, but also really embarrassed. But I realized that even though it was an embarrassing situation, there are people who will understand. And there are some people who just won't understand. But it wasn't my fault and I knew I couldn't control it. And it was just an experience, I guess. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.